Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm really excited to uh, talk to you about the Troubled Monk Craft Brewery located in Red Deer. I was there and picked up some stuff and I wanted to go over it with you. So we're gonna be talking all about Troubled Monk Craft Brewery. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I wanted to introduce you to Troubled Monk Craft Brewery based out of Red Deer, Alberta and we have a lot of craft breweries now in Alberta, but this is one based out of Red Deer and they make beer, they make a hard iced tea, and they also make a gin, their Epitap gin. I'm gonna go over it with you. First thing we're gonna start off with is their mixer pack. They've got four beers in this mixer pack and it has a variety of beers. One is a, a brown, American brown ale called their Open Road, which I really like. It's more of a coffee espresso kind of flavors there. Uh, next one that they have is the Belgian uh, white, which is the Bucktooth. And that's a little bit more citrusy, um, you know, uh, good Belgian white type beer. Uh, they're Golden Gates Golden Ale. This is a great introduction to craft beer. It's an it's an easy one to get into and probably start this off with the with the pack uh, out of all of them. And then the Pesky Pig, which is my brother in law loves this one. It's more um, more hoppy, kind of an IPA kind of taste to it. So uh, this is a little bit more on that level. So if you let people like hoppy type beers, that might be the one to go try. So those are four beers you can start off with. They've got a lot of other craft beers you can pick up at the shop or you can pick them up at your um, uh, local specialty beer shop, which they constantly put out new stuff all the time. They also have their website that you can go to and check out all those ones. Um, other than that, they have something called troubled tea. Now, um, we think about troubled tea, uh, troubled tea or hard iced tea as being sweet and, uh, too much for me. I really don't like iced teas most of the time, but this one is very different. It's actually tastes like an iced tea. It, it's not very sweet. It's very refreshing. I, I basically took the drank three of them at once, didn't even know that I was on my third one because it was so easy to drink. And you know, what's interesting, it's 5% alcohol, but you would never think it, it really tastes like iced tea. So be careful. That's why they probably call it trouble tea. Uh, and then the other thing that they have is their Epitap uh, gin and soda. And now that comes in a can and it's um, Epitap gin, uh, gin and soda. It's Good. I mean, uh, the gin is good. The soda, I'm not a big gin and soda fan. I think I would prefer something with a gin and tonic. So for those people that like gin and soda, this is perfect. It's easy to go. It's 5%, uh, 355 milliliters. So that's something to do. Uh, their Epitap Gin is good, and I'm going to go over it with you. I'm actually going to do a cocktail with you in another episode, so stay tuned. But if you want to find out more information on Troubled Monk, troubledmonk.com is where you can go find all of their stuff. You can probably find it at your local shop, and uh, you'll find more information on my website about all these beers, albertafoodie.com. So thanks for joining me, and hope you join me next time. Take care.